What's up legends? Since so many new people subscribe to this channel, I thought before I start this video, well, the actual part of this video, to, uh, you know, get a haircut. All right, let's go. So I wasn't quite sure what video to do next, so I asked you guys on Instagram to help me out. So we ended up with the theme of compositions. All right, perfect. So I still got a few minutes to spare before my appointment. So I remember how I struggled, and I still struggled. Don't get me wrong. I remember the days when I started out with lettering that I couldn't write anything, or I wouldn't actually write anything longer than just one word or two words, just because I was scared. So I didn't tackle on these problems. I didn't tackle on this mountain. Every time I got a job or a request to do something that was longer than three words, I actually just would decline it. Then later on, I started this 100-day creative challenge, which helped me a lot because every day I filled out a whole page with lettering. Now, after that, I was confident to fill out long texts. It still left me with the in-between, the things between three words and the long texts. Oh, look at that. I gotta go to my appointment. See you guys later. Is it just me or is it every time you get a haircut that you feel weird? Like something is missing and it's just all different? Anyway, composition is one of the most important things when it comes to lettering. When you're designing a quote or whatever you do, composition is a crucial part that will make everything look beautiful. So what is my process when it comes to composition? So the first thing that I do is scribble it down in my own handwriting. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but it helps me to visualize how long words are. And then as soon as I've got that, I start placing these in text boxes. Because you've just simply written it down, you kind of know how big those text boxes need to be. Now when you place those boxes, try to think about doing something symmetrical. What I mean by that is having a balance between the left and the right side so that it'll look all the same on both sides. This is already pleasing to the eye. The next thing is spacing. It's really important to close every gap and just make it full and complete. If you suddenly feel yourself like you're in a creative block, then try this out. But try this only if you really can't advance anymore. So what I usually do in that time is I dig up my inspiration that I've saved somewhere. You make an outline around the text and you try to figure out how they build up their shape and size. Now, after you've found at least three, even better, five solutions on how to write something out, then try to figure out what way would be the best. So just as a small recap, be sure to sketch a lot, to look at symmetry in your designs and don't leave any gaps. I hope this video gave you a little insight on my process and how I do my compositions. Of course, this is a whole topic and you can spend a lot of time talking about this. Actually, I have an online course called Letter Like a Legend. You should check that out, it's linked below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.